All right, Wilson, come on in, man. Hurry up, dog. Look, hey, man, I got some new stuff, man. I got the Soundcore Boom 2, baby. Look, they got all kinds of good stuff coming out this season, man. Look, this one has PartyCast 2.0. You can connect up to 100 speakers with PartyCast 2.0. They got the base up technology. We're talking 80 watts. We're going to need to talk about this 80 watts, though. Uh, what else we got? Dude, it floats. It's IPX or IPX7. Yeah, and it floats. Hopefully it floats face up. What else we got, man? 24 hour battery life. 24 hours worth of play time. That's a long time to party, but we do need to talk about this rating of 24 hours. And then what else we got? We got some stuff, man. I like to read the back of the box so I know what I'm getting into because this is New Stuff TV, the Untechnical Tech Channel. I'm your host, Antoine. Give me that boom, boom, boom. That boom, boom, boom. Richardson. <laughs> Because today we're talking about the boom too, baby, from Cellcore. But let's get back into this specky stuff, man. Look, built-in power bank, link up to 100 speakers, fully waterproof and floatable. Passive radiators with LED lights that go to the beat of the music. Dude, this 80 watts that we need to talk about. Punchy bass with bass up technology. Bruh, they doing a lot, man. They doing a whole lot in a small... It's actually a relatively small speaker. I haven't opened it up, but the box is kind of small itself. I did bring some other gear here. So I got the JBL Charge 5. I got the uh, JBL Extreme 3. And I got the Soundcore Motion Boom, which I don't know why they call it Motion Boom and Boom 2. But these are for other videos. Today, or actually, you know what? Stick around, man, because I'm going to make some videos on this. So make sure you come back to the channel so I can show you what, you know, how these compare. But until then, we're gonna put these to the side. Just throw that over there, cause, cause I'm reckless. Just, just toss it, bro. <laughs> now, we gonna look at this right here. The Boom 2, baby. So let's get into it. As we get this thing unboxed, you can clearly see, oh wait, there's something in there, man. Hold on, I got something in the box, hold on. <laughs> okay, yeah, you got your USB-C to USB-C uh, charging cable, which is clutch because that's, that's just how we're rolling these days. You know, dude, I used to get mad when I used to see micro USB in a box, dude, they used to really piss me off. Anyways, so that's that. And now we got the speaker right here. Let's just get it done, man. Not a whole lot to unbox or unravel. Not a whole bunch of, you know, packaging and stuff. Let's see what this thing looks like in person. Oh, so this is the back right here. We're looking at Soundcore Boom 2, and we're presented with the speaker booty right there. We got your uh, standard USB right there for your uh, charge IQ. So you can use this as a battery bank to sip off of that up to 24 hours worth of battery life. Now the battery life, up to 24 hours. And Soundcore rates this at 50% volume. It could be a little less than that, maybe 30%, but Soundcore rates 50% volume, it'll get you up to 24 hours worth of battery life. That's pretty clutch, because 50% is actually a decent volume to play your music at. But right there, you got your USB-C input, and that is all. There is no 3.5 millimeter input right there for your aux cable, because, hey man, Bluetooth, baby, with PartyCast 2.0. Look at this, look at this. We got your power button right there. You got your Bluetooth button, your uh, play and pause. You got your up and down for your uh, volume. You got your sync button, not a sync, but your PartyCast button, and then you got the bass up button. Yeah, man, you know, I like, I like bass, man. I get all giddy. When, when I hear the bass and the music, man, and the fact they got a whole button dedicated to more bass, gotta love it. So the wattage, I did wanna talk to you about the wattage, man. So Soundcore says they have a 40 watt racetrack subwoofer in there, which is in the middle, right behind that uh, music note, which is actually their logo. And then they have two 10 watt tweeters right there for a total of 60 watts. But as soon as you press that bass up button, it levels up everything. In fact, I got it right here. I wanna get it right, so I'm gonna read it to you. With 60 watt output, the power is divided into 40 watts for the subwoofer and 10 watts for each of the two tweeters. Upon activating the bass up 2.0, the overall power escalates to 80 watts, reallocating 50 watts to the subwoofer and 15 watts for each one of the tweeters. All right, there you go, man. That's how you get your 80 watts. So thumpity thump thump. So now let's turn it on. You just press and hold this button right here. There you go. And now it's searching. You know what? Let's just go ahead and get this thing connected, man. Let's let's search and get it connected, man. Are you just as excited as I am? Dude, I'm always excited when I get some new Soundcore stuff. Let me see. Uh, Soundcore Boom 2. There we go. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, that's not it. Let me scan. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Bluetooth repair. Okay, there we go. You hear that? That's that classic sound core sound. So now it's connected. If you see right here, we got the blue uh, LED for the uh, Bluetooth indicator. Oh, snap. There it is on the side. We got these LEDs right here on the passive radiator. I... 
Look, I don't recommend you do that to your speaker. <laughs> don't do that, man. But you got your passive radiator right here with your LEDs built in uh, flanking the sides. And they're supposed to pulse with the beat of the music, which we'll get to momentarily. Something I didn't show you the bottom, man. This thing is going to stay put. It's got your little rubber feet right here. And it's got a solid build. I think this is... Hmm, this could be a metal. It looks like a, it feels like a coated metal, and this is just a hard plastic right here. So Soundcore has definitely changed their designs from the motion boom because it looks slightly different than this, and it has you know more materials as well. But back to this one, we have our base up button, and it's giving us some instructions. So you can have the onboard control for your lights. So if you press this, uh, looks like twice, it turns the lights on and off. Okay, there it is, it's off. So if you don't want the lights on, you can just press them, uh, press that base up button twice, press it twice again, and it turns them on. And of course, if you press and hold it, you'll turn that base up on or off. But it's a sound core speaker, so they know you, you know they're always giving you lots of value because you get an app with that, right? So let's go ahead and I'll share my screen with you real quick and take you to my Soundcore app. Now this is a beta app, so you know, you're not gonna get the full picture. It's kind of blurred out right there. But if you look, I got my volume controls within the app. I got play and pause. Let's play a little bit. Oh, it's, it's hitting. It's hitting, man, it's hitting. I can't play that song though, because I'll get copyright claims, but it's hitting. And you got your bass up toggle right there. And uh, let's see here, we got the lights, we got uh, flame, we got burst and flash. Let's do flame, I like flame, hold up. What's going on here? All right, I don't see nothing happening, but we'll keep that on to flame. I don't want any flashes because I want it to send me into a Caesar or nothing. Then we have the Soundcore equalizer. I love it when they put equalizers in here because it allows you to just manipulate your music pretty much on the fly to fine tune it to what you actually want. So let's look in here, man. We got the presets, we got the Soundcore signature, which I usually like, man. I always like Soundcore signature, but they have treble boost and then they got voice and then they have a balanced. And then we go into custom and that's where you can actually just customize your own. And yep, standard, here we go, nine band EQ, man. So you can just mess with this thing and just make it what you want to. Wait, full band, what is full band? Oh, snap, okay. All right, we got some new stuff here, man. This is okay. So let's go back because I was sharing my screen. And that looks like there is pretty much all, but we, you know what? We can go into the settings of the speaker. Let's see here. We got speaker prompts. You can turn them on and off. Uh, clipboard permissions. Oh, you get to change the button brightness. I'm not sure why I would want to do that, but you have auto power on and off. And then of course, you know, your user manual and stuff like that. But that's enough of that, man. I know what you came here for, man. I know what you came here for. So we're going to go ahead and head outside and give you some sound samples because I know that guy in the back that guy in the back, you back there tapping your knee and stuff and just wondering, come on, man, tell us, tell us, but does it jam? No. Thank you. 